Namaste. In this video tutorial, we are going to see the syllabus of first year BCom Mathematical and Statistical Techniques. I am Mandar Bhanushe, Mathematics Faculty at the Institute of Distance and Open Learning, University of Mumbai. Friends, we have two semesters for our paper of Mathematical and Statistical Techniques and each semester will be having two sections, section 1 and section 2 and section 1 will be of mathematics and section 2 will be of statistics. The marks distribution will be 40 marks for mathematics and 60 marks for statistics. In the first section of mathematics, we have unit 1 as shares and mutual funds and unit 2 as permutations, combinations and linear programming problems. In the statistics section 2, which is of 60 marks, we have three units. The third unit will be of summarization measures, where we will be talking about different types of averages, mean, median, mode, etc. And then unit 4 will be of elementary probability theory. And unit 5 will be on decision theory, which is very important for the managerial applications it has. That is about your semester 1 five units. Now we shall see the detailed syllabus of all these five units in the semester one. In uh, semester one, unit one shares and mutual funds. We have the concept of share. What is the meaning of a share? What is the meaning of different concepts? Face value, market value, dividend, different types of shares, preferential shares, equity shares, bonus shares, simple examples, numerical examples followed by what is a mutual fund, what is systematic investment plan, what do we mean by NAV, entry load, exit load, etc. In unit 2, we have permutations, combinations and linear programming problems where under the first topic of permutations and combinations, we shall see what is the meaning of a factorial, the notation of factorial, then the simple formulas of NCR and NPR and the commercial applications of permutations and combinations. Then uh, in uh, LPP, that is linear programming problems, we shall see first how do we sketch graphs of linear equations and then linear inequations or inequalities. Mathematical formulation of linear programming problems up to three variables is what we are going to see and then solutions of linear programming problems using graphical method up to two variables in statistics that is section two we shall have three units in that the unit three will be of summarization measures where we shall talk about different types of averages mean median mode uh, grouped as well as ungrouped data then what are quartiles deciles percentiles and the graphical way of plotting these uh, different averages. Uh, we shall also see uh, measures of dispersion that is the concept of dispersion uh, followed by standard deviation, quartile deviation, mean deviation, variance etc. That is about unit 3. In unit 4 we shall talk about probability, uh, basic definitions, concepts uh, of uh, trials, experiments, outcomes, sample space, algebra of uh, events, then what are the different types of events, and simple formula related to probability followed by some examples then random variable probability distribution of a discrete random variable what is expectation variance etc on probability distributions that is about probability we have one more unit which is there in the next semester on probability distributions then uh, unit 5 is about decision theory and it is very much applicable in the area of managerial decision makings so what are the different types of decision making, maximin, minimax, regrets, then what is the Laplace criteria, simple examples based on optimal discussion, uh, decisions, what is the payoff matrix, decision making under risk, expected monetary value, then we shall also see how we can draw decision tree and simple examples on based on uh, EMV as well as what is the opportunity loss, uh, examples based on that. That is about decision theory and that finishes the semester 1. In semester 2 we have again the same pattern section 1 of mathematics, section 2 of statistics. Again there are 5 units and uh, the detailed syllabus of these 5 units uh, under mathematics and statistics section is the first unit will be on functions, derivatives and its applications where we shall first describe 
uh, what is a function we'll define it what are the different types of functions uh, related to commerce and management what are the terms which we should know as far as these functions are concerned then of course differentiation that is derivatives now these are separate from our financial derivatives so derivative here means a rate measure so we shall see uh, that definition followed by some rules of differentiation simple rules uh, we shall also see uh, second order derivatives and applications related to these derivatives in the area of commerce and economics like uh, marginal cost average cost marginal revenue elasticity of demand etc that we shall see in the second unit of mathematics we shall go to financial mathematics where we shall learn about interest which is simple interest compound interest uh, rate of interest and all those calculations annuities we shall learn about uh, what are different types of annuities and how do we calculate the emis equated monthly installments if you take a loan then what are the various ways in calculating the emis and uh, that is all uh, under the topic of interest and annuity which comes under the area of financial mathematics then we have statistics uh, three units in which third unit is on uh, linear correlations and regressions different types of correlations do, uh, how do we calculate the regression equations slope of the regression equations the constants then what is the relation between the correlation coefficient and the regression coefficient how do we draw the regression lines using a method called as least squares method and the next unit four will be on time series and index numbers again a very important and very application oriented topic concepts and components of a time series uh, representation of the data either by a freehand curve how do we estimate the trend using different methods and concepts of uh, forecasting using again the least square methods index numbers again related to financial mathematics more uh, different types of index uh, numbers we have which we are going to learn then the cost of living index concept of real income wholesale price index all these are very very uh, application oriented topics and the final unit is on probability distributions where we will talk about two uh, types of probability distributions discrete and continuous and some examples based on that and that is what we are going to do in the semester 1 and semester 2 five units each so total we have 10 units in semester 1 5 and semester 2 5 2 is to 3 is the distribution of these units for mathematics and statistics uh, sections we shall be having detailed video lectures based on all these topics and i'm sure you will definitely love them keep watching the facebook page of our fibcom and as well as the youtube channel do subscribe to that thank you very much and see you in the first lecture of unit 1 semester 1 on shares and mutual funds till then time take care be safe